Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. If you are new here, hello, welcome. My name is Janet and I am a stay-at-home mom to two boys and we are a homeschooling family. And here on my channel, I just share a little bit of everything while we try to figure it all out. So I hope that you stick around and hit that subscribe button for more. Today's video is all about our arts and crafts caddy. It's just a little cart with arts and crafts stuff in it. I shared it with you guys over on my Instagram last week. Yes, we are back on Instagram. If you followed us there before, you know that uh, we haven't been on it since I think December. So we are back and I say we because you'll see a lot of our uh, daily lives on there. So if you want a little more insight on what our daily lives look like and all that fun stuff, uh, go ahead and follow us there. So I shared it with you guys on our Instagram and then I did have several questions on it. Some of you messaged me asking where it was from or what was in it and that sort of thing. So today I'm just going to go through it and tell you everything that's in it. But before that, I do want to kind of just tell you how amazing this thing is. Uh, we already had something kind of similar and that is being generous because we, I had a cart that had crayons and paper on it and the boys obviously had access to the crayons and the paper. But after reading The Brave Learner, I was inspired to jazz it up a bit and add more things to it. Now, a lot of this stuff I already did have. I just had it stored away up in a shelf in a box. Only came out when a craft that we were doing it, that, that we were doing together, called for it. So it was always me bringing it down when I had like a scheduled craft. Just how everything is easily accessible to grab, it's also easily accessible to put away. Now I will need a little facilitating from you in the beginning because obviously the kids weren't used to it. Like, but you guys, they were both so excited when I brought this out, like I rolled it out of the closet and I shared it with them and I told them everything that was in it. They were so excited to just dive in. And now like we've had it for maybe a month already. And you guys, it is so awesome. Just watching the little light bulb go on and watching David rush to the room so he could uh, do whatever, create whatever came to mind. And I say David because obviously David is a little older and he has more of this sort of, you know, idea of how to use these things and what to do and that sort of thing. They are proud of having it, like their space, so they have been keeping it really organized. Now, I do have other stuff that is still in shelves. Glitter is not going in the cart. Glitter does need to be asked for um, and uh, monitored. Uh, so yeah, that sort of stuff I still have uh, put away. It's not in the cart. Let me show you what's in it. So most of the day, the cart is out here right under the little artwork, uh, the art frames that I put together using Dollar Tree picture frames and clothespins. The cart is from Target. It was $10, I believe. And then I also have this uh, thing here that we can pull up. It has a little handle. Um, that is from Marshalls and I think it was $11. Uh, this pretty much lives all around the house. This is this comes with us to the living room, to the boys bedroom. It comes everywhere with us. Uh, and in it is crayons, uh, markers, colored pencils. I also have um, some oil pastels, some glue, scissors, and tape. Uh, and there's also a hole punch in there and a glue stick. So all of that is in here. And like I said, this one is usually what comes with us all over the place, <laughs> all around the house. Right next to that is this book bin from Daiso. Daiso is a Japanese dollar store. Everything is $1.50 and uh, it is bigger than the ones you would find at Dollar Tree. But in it, I have some blank books from Target Dollar Spot. I have this whiteboard paddle, uh, their morning journals that they just draw in, uh, some coloring books and some coloring pages, some white plain paper and some white construction paper. Uh, 
In the middle, I have these two bins that I got also from Daiso, also for $1.50. In the middle, there is a table cover. Uh, in case we're going to paint, I can cover the floor. I have this roll of activity paper and a bunch of tissue paper. I also usually ke keep uh, like pipe cleaners in here, um, but we just use those in there, I don't know, somewhere in the house. <laughs> so I have that, and then on the next one, Next to it, I have another bin and that has like the little foam beads, some googly eyes. Um, I have some feathers and more tissue paper in here. Um, I also keep a lot of our stickers like letters and numbers in here and also uh, poster letters, punch out letters and some more stickers. And then I also have the foam sheets. These are the ones that peel like it, they're sticky. So you peel the back and you can stick it anywhere. Um, so we have that in the middle and then over on the bottom, I have all of our paint stuff. So uh, there's two more bins from Daiso, again, $1.50 each. And we have some uh, sponges, some, um, not sponges, some sponge brushes, uh, some regular brushes. I have um, the acrylic paints in the back, some oil pastels. Uh, there's also some dot markers there and these Crayola uh, project sticks. These are paint sticks. These are amazing. You guys have to check these out if you have little ones because they are so easy to use. And yeah, and also the dot markers again, little toddlers, three year olds, they love these. And uh, some acrylic paint there. And then these are the watercolor. I actually just replaced these <laughs> for some new ones. So this is a, a new set. And in the middle I have, uh, oh here, there's also some little spatulas that I never really use. And we have some aprons. This is their Home Depot apron and some random green one from Dollar Tree. Um, and then onto the side, I have some more paints. These are not acrylic paint. They were, I think it said acrylic paint. And if it, it is, if it said acrylic paint, um, it's not, <laughs> this is all I could find at uh, Walmart, but we really did not like these paints. Um, the payoff is horrible. And then I also have some kits from Home Depot. If you guys were fans of the Home Depot kids workshop they hosted it every saturday but with the you know what we haven't been able they haven't been able to host any of those but if you ask for the kits they still give them out to you at checkout so don't forget to ask them for those and that is it for today's video you guys thank you so much for watching i will see you guys on the next one